Hello, my name is Neva Durand, and I'm an assistant professor at the Baylor College of Medicine. I've been a member of the Aiden Lab for more than eight years, developing pipelines and visualization software for HiC data. I'll give a brief introduction to HiC contact maps before going into the tutorial on how to use Juicebox to explore and code data. Hopefully, you are familiar with the HiC experiment. If not, have a look at the background tab on the tutorial. HiC experiments generate genome wide contact maps showing what parts of the genome are in close proximity with each other. For example, if this is a single chromosome, we lay out the chromosomes in a canonical order to form the linear genome. This makes up the X and Y axes of the contact map. HiC data allows us to see where pieces of the linear genome come into proximity, enabling us to estimate the architecture of the genome. Here, we can easily see that chromosomes are more likely to be in contact with themselves than with other chromosomes, a positive control for a known biological phenomenon. These pairwise contacts are binned at multiple different resolutions and stored in a HiC file. HiC files are at the center of the Juicebox ecosystem, which includes Juicer for creating HiC files from FASTQ files, Juicebox for visualization, and Straw for accessing the data through an easy to use API. The HiC files are multi resolution, which can be user specified and are compressed and indexed to enable rapid, random access. One useful metaphor is Google Earth. Different features and contact matrices become apparent at different scales, just like when you zoom in on a map. So, at genome-wide view, you would see chromosomes, the equivalent to continents in this metaphor. Even at this scale, you can see interesting patterns. For example, what might a chromosome look like in a heat map? Well, if it's linear and doesn't fold up in any way, you would just see a strong diagonal. This is because the pieces that are close together in one dimension, for example, C is close to B on one side and D on the other, are then close together in three dimensions. If instead you had a circular chromosome, you would see a pattern like this, where in addition to the strong diagonal, there is an enhancement off diagonal where A and F come into contact. Let's zoom in on our chromosome to a country level view. Now we see other features emerging, compartments and subcompartments, decorated by histone marks and determined by their distinct patterns in the contact map. As we zoom in further on the contact map and on the city of Houston, we see more features emerging. We see squares along the diagonal and peaks off diagonal, regions of enhanced contact. These correspond to chromatone loops and domains. Zooming in one more time on an individual loop, we can distinguish relevant marks associated with that loop, much as we can zoom in to a Google map and see an individual building. Here, we see that this area of focal enrichment is equivalent to a chromatin loop. We also have the ability to annotate our contact map, the equivalent of a labeled map as opposed to a satellite view. These annotations come from ENCODE datasets such as ChIP-seq tracks and domain and loop annotations, as well as user-defined, hand-drawn annotations. There are two different flavors of Juicebox, Juicebox Desktop and Juicebox on the Web. We won't go through the tutorial on Juicebox Desktop, but I encourage you to explore the features on your own. Features special to Juicebox Desktop include versus mode, real-time visualization of discontinuous regions, and the Assembly Tools module. Juicebox Web is a cloud-based web app that has no server component. It is embeddable and allows you to easily share what you're looking at with friends and colleagues. As with Juicebox Desktop, it supports ENCODE 1D tracks, including BigWig, BigBed, GFF, etc. And you can load maps and tracks from remote servers, custom URLs, local files, Dropbox, Google Drive, or wherever you'd like 
You can even host your own juice box on your own site. Finally, you can easily access data stored in HiC files via Straw. This includes files hosted on ENCODE or on GEO. Straw is used as a backend for multiple different HiC visualization tools, and we are also using it for rapid iteration on machine learning algorithms. Now I will take you through the Juicebox tutorial. Go to this website and we'll get started.